Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. I'm super excited today because we are going to be making pickles. Yay! Um, we're going to make refrigerator pickles. They are going to be, well, they're actually called a Lithuanian half sour. Um, they are very similar to a Clausen's, which is my favorite. We are all out of pickles in this house. We have, we have pickle relish and that's what I had last night at 3 a.m when I needed a little bit of pickle in my life. Um, it satisfied the need at the time, but let's make pickles. I'm so excited. Yay! When I went to the grocery store, I looked at the Clausens and I did not want to spend upwards of six and a half dollars for Clausens. Um, these little mini cucumbers were on sale though for three dollars and 99 cents and there's quite a few in them and i think they're going to suit us just fine i don't think that they're kirby's but they have a thinner skin and they're very firm and i think they're going to be completely delicious and i've made pickles using a regular uh, cucumber english cucumbers kirby's of course they all work out and honestly, we eat them so fast that even a regular cucumber minus the skin is still crispy, delicious, pickled, and they barely will last like a week or two in my refrigerator if I am lucky. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to wash these because I don't know. It says wash before use. I think that's good advice. So I'm just going to put them into this bowl. And I'm going to just look them over, see, make sure that nobody has any soft spots or mold or bad bruised places. These all look terrific. Groovy. Okay. And then to that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up with some cold water and a splash of vinegar. Now, Lithuanian half showers are going to basically half ferment in the refrigerator. They don't have a vinegar base to them. And that's just fine with me. It will take about four days for these to ferment in the refrigerator. They're going to be very fast. I'm hoping that I can last four days. And there we go. I'm going to just swish these around. And I'm just going to let them sit there in the cold water and soak while we get a few other things going. Get clean. Okay, so while those are soaking and getting all ready and cleaned up for us, let's go ahead and make our brine. So I have six cups of bottled water in this measuring cup mixing bowl, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I am using, and I am using bottled water because I am on city water and it has chlorine, it has fluoride, it has whatever else that they put in it. And I want to make sure that I don't inhibit the fermentation process with that water with, especially with the chlorine. So I've got six cups of bottled water and that's going to work me just fine. I've got some kosher salt. You can use kosher salt. You can use sea salt. You can use pink Himalayan salt. You can use um, pickling salt. You could use canning salt. You can use whatever salt rocks your boat, except for the iodized salt. And that just won't cut it. It'll give your pickles a weird taste and it will also probably discolor them so and to this we are going to add to the six cups of water we're going to add one fourth of a cup of salt like i said i'm using the kosher salt okay and then i'm just gonna grab a spoon And give 
this I could stir it. I really want to make sure that that salt dissolves in there. So I am going to go ahead and place it into the microwave for about three minutes. Three minutes, absolutely. That should make sure that everything's well dissolved and ready to go. I have some dill from my garden. Oh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Some dill from my garden. I have about five cloves of garlic. Look at the size of this clo clove of garlic. It is huge. Um, yeah, this is like some GMO garlic or something. I don't know. It should be delicious. I have some pickling spice. And I buy this at my grocery store in the Hispanic food section. And it is cumin and coriander and peppercorns and bay leaf and mustard seed and all the things that you would want. It's even got a little red pepper in there. Um, it's everything you would pretty much need to make pickles. Um, I do personally pick out the cloves because I do not enjoy cloves. That's just my preference. If you like cloves, leave them all in. I don't care. Absolutely. So, this is the vessel that I will be making my pickles in. It's long, it's cylindrical, it will take all of the brine um, that we're nuking up right now. Um, I think I can hold a lot of pickles in here. Um, it has been washed, rinsed, and sanitized. It is plastic. It's a food grade plastic. I double checked that it was safe. Shorty, Shorty Vaughn, how do you sanitize plastic? Well, I washed it, soap and hot water. I rinsed it, and then I made a solution of bleach and water, allowed it to soak in here for about an hour, and then I rinsed it about three times. In my opinion, that is as sanitary as this is going to get. So I feel good about it, not worried at all. Okay. A little Mountain Dew. Yay. This is my corn from yesterday, and um, those four trays filled up a one quart uh, mason jar, and those be delicious. I think it's pretty. And uh, just like usual, I just take the finished product off of my trays once it looks and feels dry, and then just go up, or just went ahead and just poured that into this jar. That's really honestly getting it off of the trays and then into your vessel is probably the hardest part about dehydrating oh look at that that did a good job i'm gonna stir the bottom just to make sure that everything is well incorporated the salt is in the water and it is not too hot. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And my pickles or my cucumbers are still um, sitting in their little bath over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn over some laundry really quick, allow this brine to come to room temperature, and then we'll go ahead and get ready and, and start packing our jar and making some pickles. Okay time later um we've got our jar and to this jar i'm gonna go ahead and add about half of this pickling spice at the bottom a little bit more than half it'll be fine i'm going to go ahead and add three of our cloves of garlic some of our washed and dried dill 
And I want to save some back for the top. And now I'm going to just go ahead and get started on my cucumbers. And they're, they're a great color. They're terrific. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's a pickle. I don't know. Um, I've debated leaving these whole or slicing them in half. And I've gone with the idea that I'm going to go ahead and slice them in half. Because they're a little bit, they're a little bit skinny. They're thin. And I'm going to set my jar on its side so I can pack as many halves in there as I possibly can. Now, I've heard that you should cut the ends off. I've heard that that will make them, you know, less crispy, blah, 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 blah. I've never had any experience with that, but also, like, these don't last at our house. We, we will eat these. And I'm actually going to put up probably another um, container full of them tomorrow because uh, we're having family dinner at the end of the month. Just cut them in half. Just cut them. We're having family dinner at the end of the month, and that's when my family will be celebrating St. Patrick's Day together. Um, so I wanted to have uh, some of these sour pickles to um, serve with the corned beef and the cabbage and what have you. Um, I think it, it's just a great accompaniment. Also, when I am feeding a lot of people a uh, pickle tray or pickled vegetables at the table or something like that is a great way to kind of stretch the meal. Um, if unexpected guests show up, uh, pickled pickles, olives, you know, artichoke hearts, whatever I've got. That goes out onto the table. Uh, I can easily bulk up um, whatever veg we were serving for the night. Uh, even if I was, even if I, we were having steak, um, instead of serving, you know, individual steaks, I would just take the steak into the kitchen and then, you know, slice it on a bias really nice and then lay it all out on a platter and that's how I would present it to stretch even like a steak dinner for unexpected guests with extra vegetables and a pickle tray and all of these things so and I just love pickles and I also think that they are really good when I'm having a hot flash when I'm having a hot flash I think pickles and a little bit of pickle juice it's just the way to go in cooling off my body, body so I can get back to bed or get on with whatever else it is that I need to be doing with my life besides sweating it off. So, here we go. We've got these really packed in here well. I'm just going to top it off here. Oh, I've got plenty of room. I've got plenty of room. It'll be fine. And of course, you could cut these any darn way you wanted to. You could quarter them. You could cut them into little rounds for um, hamburgers. Or you could put them into great big chunks and uh, use those in your macaroni salad, potato salad, egg salad, whatever salad you got going on. Okay, that one's a little bit squishy. So we'll cut off the squishy part. We'll use the rest. It'll be fun. He's the bad apple. Hmm. Gotcha before you spoiled the whole bunch. Okay. There we go. Fabulous. I'm going to put the rest of my pickling spice in there. 
And now I am going to pour over my brine here. And if I have measured correctly, this will cover it all the way to the top. Well, hot diggity. I'm going to leave just a little bit of room at the top because I don't want it to spill on me when I open it. I hate that. And whenever I open a jar of pickles, it always spills on me. Okay, let's go ahead and put our last two cloves of garlic in on the top. Why not? And then let's go ahead and we'll put our dill inside too. Just smush it on in there. Okay. There we go. We're going to put the lid on. And these never cook. They are not shelf stable. Do not put them on your shelf and expect to have them in a couple of years because I don't think it will work. Um, but I am going to put this in my refrigerator. They should be ready in about four days. I can hardly wait. I'm going to be opening the refrigerator a lot to look at them. Um, but I think those look just stunning. I think those look good enough to eat even at 3 a.m. Okay so we'll put them in the refrigerator. It's going to take about four days for these to do a half ferment. This is not a hard ferment. This isn't like sauerkraut um, and these will last in your refrigerator probably four to six weeks. Good luck um, not eating them all before then. Yay hooray. Refrigerator pickles. Lithuanian half sours, Kloss and copycats, hot diggity. I'm all ready. I'm, re I'm all ready. Don't touch my pickles. I'm talking to you. Don't, don't touch my pickles. All right, my lovelies. Well, we made some beautiful pickles today. It was very fast. It's very economical. This is considerably more than you would get in a jar of overpriced Klossens. Hey, they're delicious. And if you don't feel like making pickles, get yourself a jar of Clausen's. Treat yourself. It'll be all right. Today, I'm just feeling really thrifty. I'm also feeling like I need a lot of pickles. So this is going to work out great. Be good. Be careful. Look both ways. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe so we can be friends. And hey, for everybody who has subscribed, Shorty Vaughn loves you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time.